very great talking to you. Uh, so how amazing is it for you being here at the Time Nation Germany? It's great. Um, uh, this is my first European convention, so I'm super excited. Also, I haven't been to Germany in about 13, 14 years, so it's been great. Really good. And meeting all these very nice German fans because I think they are much more enthusiastic than in Mexico. Yes, uh, I've, I've been to America. As I said, I've not been to Europe uh, yet, but what I feel is, is there's a real sort of passion here and, and the enthusiasm and, and sort of like also the warmth, you know? You guys are like really, really healthy people. So I, I really connect with that. So it's been great. Mm -hmm. um, Torch Wolves. Mm -hmm. This is a show which I personally really, really yeah. enjoy. Great. Thank and you. I could imagine that there could maybe so happen some weird things in behind the scenes that we don't see on camera. And maybe you have some nice memories from the set for us. Oh gosh. I mean, so much, so much. We, all I can say is like, we were like naughty school children, you know. We were in that hub, sort of 12, 14 hours a day. So it's almost like what we call cabin fever. But what was great was John Barrowman's a barrel of laughs as well. Eve as well. We used to just like joke around. Obviously, we would, you know, be professional on camera. But it's like a relief, you know, comic relief, and we used to dance and sing, and, and sometimes the producer would just say, you know, settle down, shush, you know, um, but it's, yeah, we had so much fun, I mean, lots of pranks, but never, never anything untoward or anything, and just so many good memories, you know, especially, like, when we all went, um, went away to the Brecon Beacons uh, for an episode called Countryside which was the first episode when we all, as a team, were outside and away from the hub. So, I mean, we didn't get to sleep till about 4 a.m. We had to be up at 5 a.m. So it was quite fun. Yeah. Um, if you're looking at uh, all the shooting, can you maybe pick one special moment? Maybe maybe some very nice things happens or some, some funny things behind the scenes or probably some weird things. Maybe some sets go go go, go down during the shooting, oh, during all the fight scenes or, or anything off, else. Off the top of my head, I mean, I think online there's quite a lot of outtakes. There was one. Uh, we were in the, the boardroom and I had a lot of lines to say, like three pages of lots of explaining to do. And we we're all very, very strict about phones and you know other noises. And I, I was doing a really, really good take and then John's phone rang. He's never, it's the first and last time he's ever done that, but his phone started ringing and it was a Doctor Who thing. So he got into a lot of trouble for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, also the other thing is I used to trip a lot, fall over a lot, because I wore heels and I'm always running around. So if you actually look, if you actually look closely on a couple of episodes, you kind of see me falling in the background, which is kind of nice. Okay, and um, if you're looking at um, Doctor Who now and and, and uh, all, all these very great um, episodes that were made. Are, are you still on to Doctor Who? Did you still watch it? Did you still uh, enjoy it? Well, the really um, hilarious thing is when Doctor Who first came out, I, I wasn't living here, but also, so I didn't really know who Doctor Who was, you know. Um, when I got the script for Aliens of London, uh, my agent called me and said, you know, what do you think? And I said, well, I don't know who Doctor Who was. You know, Doctor Who, it, was, it really was like Doctor Who, you know. Um, and then he said, is the script great? And I said, yeah, it's fine, but there's like one word I don't understand. And he said, what's the word? And I said, it's spelled T-A-R-D-I-S. I don't know, Tardite. And he was laughing so hard, he put the phone down on me because he just couldn't believe I didn't know what a Tardis was. Um, I have watched, uh, because David Tennant, when we were filming Torchwood, was next door doing Doctor Who, so we always hung out a lot, and I, I've been watching it religiously since. Uh, I have to say, I haven't watched much of the last series, because I, I haven't been in here in England, so, um, no, it's great. I love it. I actually need to go all the way back and watch the old stuff, which I haven't done yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, do you have a favorite doctor, if I'm allowed to ask? Oh, it's so hard because, well, I love Peter Carl. But that's because I know Peter from 20 years ago. Uh, I love Chris, 
uh, obviously I've worked with him since as well and because he was my doctor when I did Doctor Who I do love Chris but I also love David because we were all the same era so it's really hard I d no I can't answer that question <laughs> it's, it's, it's impossible okay the next doctor will be a female one yeah? yep so if you could do if you could be Doctor Who just for one day mm -hmm. in real life mm -hmm. what would you do with all this power and with your talents I would travel everywhere time travel every era ev everywhere just keep going just see as much as I can I think thank you very much thank very you. nice talking to you